Hello and welcome to the SliceNet booth. My name is Robert Schmidt from Eurocom. I'm presenting here an aspect of the eHealth uh, use case in SliceNet. In this um, eHealth scenario, we have an ambulance that needs to transport a paramedic to a hospital. And in order to support this medical service, there is a data connection through a network so that, for example, a better monitoring of the paramedic could be uh, provided. Um, the scenario foresees that, uh, for example, the load in the base station is monitored and, for example, this uh, ambulance, while it is traveling, traveling through the network, it will be handed over from one base station to another. Or if we see that the slice in which this uh, um, ambulance gets its service is overloaded, we could, for example, also hand over this uh, terminal, so the ambulance, to another base station if we think we have better service. And in our demo, we show exactly this, how we can do this handover through an SDN-enabled controller. That means the controller that has the base station um, underlying this controller can observe the current load in the base station and then, if necessary, trigger a handover to another base station. So in this case, we have here a dashboard of the network. We have in the middle the controller that controls two base stations on either side. Furthermore, we have an application, the handover application that can uh, monitor the, the network, that can also trigger the handover. And I will now connect a phone. So now the phone is connected to the network here on this side. And now we could measure the load and, for example, as it travels and we think that the load in one base station would be too high, we could trigger the handover. So in this case, the handover application, I mean, I will do this now by hand, of course. In uh, such a scenario, there would be an application that would automatically trigger this handover or make the handover decision if necessary. So we choose the source base station which is this base station, which currently has the user. We select the user and we select a target base station. So we want this user, this ambulance in this case, to be handed over to the other base station. So if we send the command through the controller to the base station, the handover will be triggered and the user is handed over to the other base station. Here we have the smart city demo and the idea is to uh, to be able to manage uh, the lighting pole installed in the city from the city hall directly using smart uh, using slice net and using the principle of slicing here we have since the this slice will be deployed in virtualized environment we know that we will uh, will have the problem of the noisy neighbor inside the the environment the virtualized environment and here we will show you how the, we, we can detect the problem of the noisy neighbor inside uh, the, uh, the virtualized infrastructure. So the idea is to put two VNFs inside the same hypervisor. We show that from OpenStack, we can see that this VNF is running and we will collect and monitor this VNF using Prometheus and using some agent installed in, uh, in each uh, VM and each VNF. And here we, sh we see that we are collecting the bandwidth, we are collecting the CPU, the memory usage of the, the different uh, VM running in the, inside the infrastructure. And after that, I will show you the, um, the different component of this use case. So we have the IoT simulator that will emulate many devices connected to this uh, slice. We have also the VNF from Slice2 that will generate the noise to the first uh, IoT application. And we have the machine learning that will do the noisy neighbor detection. And finally, we have the, the QE optimizer that will do the actuation on the network. There are many components from this from uh, SliceNet architecture and SliceNet uh, uh, project that are integrated together in, in this uh, use case. So here, I uh, start the the machine learning uh, module and here we see that the VM is in a normal uh, state there is nothing uh, uh, going wrong for this VNF 
and after that I will generate the noise from the second BNF running in the infrastructure and we will see the impact of this noise on the first VNF and we will show that with using the machine learning we can detect this performance degradation. So here from this third screen we see that now the VM is on a normal on noisy uh, state and we see that the VM starts suffering because there are it, it's stressed from uh, the second VNF of the third of the second slice and so when we have when we are on noisy state we don't do the actuation and we don't do the correction directly because maybe it's a burst traffic coming to this VNF we still waiting for three prediction of noise and when we have this uh, three prediction we will do the actuation and we will notify the Kiwi optimizer to do the correction on the network and to, for example, to migrate the VM from one side to another side, which is a safe side where we don't have a noise. So here we will generate the migration and we will start the migration of the IoT application from one server to another one. And from the, the second uh, screen, we will see that uh, the performance uh, will be uh, corrected when we uh, migrate the VM from one side to another side. So we will accelerate this video to see the migration because it takes around, it's a live migration, it takes around the three minutes. But uh, in between we will see from OpenStack that the migration is performing and the VM is moving from one server to another one. So here from uh, OpenStack dashboard, we see that the VM changed the status from running to migrating and from OpenStack we check that the status of the IoT application is changing and uh, we will accelerate again the video because as I said before it takes some minutes to do the live migration and from uh, the machine learning we see that we are uh, uh, on the noisy state and we are waiting to to uh, uh, to solve this this problem inside uh, the infrastructure um, so, uh, just here uh, from Prometheus, we see that uh, the VM will gonna be uh, in a normal situation. Just here, we see that the performance uh, coming to the normal uh, situation. And from the machine learning perspective, we see that now the VM is now in a normal state, which means that my VNF as a vertical is moving and is, is moving from a new place to a new place and now we are in a, in, a in a good situation and here we see that my application is running in another server and I am avoiding this noisy generated by the second slice and generated by this, uh, the VNF sharing the same hypervisor. So from the OpenStack we will check that the, the VNF is not here so the IoT application moved from server 4, 5 and on server 4 we will check that the VM now is running there and uh, so here we see that the VM is running on server 4. So this is the idea of our demo and uh, in SliceNet we managed to integrate all this together between many components in the architecture and uh, now we are able to do the noisy detection using machine learning and uh, we, do, we can do an actuation on the network and the correction on the network when we have performance degradation. I am Yusra bin Slimet from uh, Orange, uh, France, and I am working in SliceNet project in the e-health use case. So the idea is that, as you can see here in the screen, so we have a connected ambulance, that, a smart connected ambulance that is roaming between the patient and the hospital. And uh, in this ambulance, the paramedics teams are wearing some uh, IoT tools that allow them to um, send uh, information to the hospital in real time in order to communicate between uh, the doctor and the paramedic team. So what we need is that uh, we need a real time uh, communication between them with low latency. Uh, the idea is that I am working 
uh, from Orange point of view is the objective to guarantee that we have the best quality of service in the sub slices so that there will be no loss of communication uh, in the ambulance. So the idea is that I will predict the signal degradation uh, before five minutes uh, in advance so that I will keep some time for the uh, network operator in order to uh, correct the problem so there will not be any interruption in the communication. And to do that, so I applied a machine learning tool, so I'm working with artificial intelligence. Uh, a machine learning model has been trained in order to, um, to know the pattern of the KPIs. So a user equipment has been put into the ambulance in order to uh, collect all the network metrics that we need and we observe the last five minutes of these KPIs in order to predict the future uh, signal uh, degradation if there is any. So uh, we also computed the um, accuracy and the performance of this uh, network, uh, of this training uh, trained machine model and here in the uh, demo we see the runtime. So here we have these KPIs that we are observing. So we observe the last five uh, minutes and we are using functional data analysis in order to do the forecasting. And in case of a problem, we will notify the uh, Kiwi optimizer of SliceNet in order to actuate and correct the problem. So here in case of problem, we will see the notification here in the graphical user interface and uh, one of the prob uh, corrections, it can be to do um, a handover to another antenna or to do uh, the change of the slab sa sub slices in advance or to change the size of the virtual machines in uh, the different sub slices. My name is Mustafa al -Badu. I am a senior research scientist at Dell AMC. Uh, today I'm going to show you a um, poster and demonstration about 5G network slicing for mission critical uh, e-health use cases. Uh, the main story that we have um, many cases uh, where uh, the um, health sector can uh, help the patients because they are in the ambulance. And this is what we call mission critical. In Ireland where uh, I'm living now, uh, we have uh, almost 1,000 cases of stroke every year. And uh, most of those people, uh, unfortunately, they live with disability, like almost 30,000 now in Ireland, because uh, the late of uh, or the, uh, the uh, low response or uh, slow response to their cases. And one of the uh, solutions to uh, categorize their illness or their case in the ambulance. And because that we work in, with the slice based on that project. Uh, and for our case, we want to monitor the system. We want to know that, uh, first of all, uh, that the infrastructure can help uh, the paramedics who are uh, in the ambulance. So first of all, we have to provision the, the resources. And because of that, we, uh, have, um, we use OSM and uh, VIM uh, to provision uh, the e-health slice we created. And uh, in our case, we uh, have uh, two uh, services, one uh, for live stream uh, and the other one you, uh, for stroke detection. Um, then we have another phase where uh, the system uh, find the proper resources to direct the, the, the traffic to, uh, for, uh, for uh, analyzing. Uh, so for our case, uh, um, if the resources can handle this part, uh, the system by itself will redirect uh, the traffic to uh, the closest resources uh, or the more uh, uh, or the resources who has more uh, compute uh, uh, power. So uh, in the demo, I'm going to show you now. Uh, hopefully, okay. So we started the demo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we started the demo, and uh, now the the, the pictures. Uh, and here we can see that this uh, frame will show statistics about the user equipment, the slice, the user equipment, 
and the, sl uh, the, the slice uh, in the core side and also will show information about the slice in the core network and finally will show uh, some stats about the E node B. Uh, here we collected information from them using uh, a skydive tool. Uh, this information will show throughput as you can see and uh, round trip time. For now you can see that we use GPU and directly GPU were able to detect my face. It detect the patient and it showed there is no stroke and happily that there were no stroke at that time. So, and you can see the delay is acceptable, like 16.5 um, uh, millisecond and throughput. Uh, you see here upload because the traffic goes from the user equipment to the server or to the GPU. And uh, here the uh, downlink that this picture comes from the GPU or from the server to uh, the paramedics to show you him if there, if there is stroke or not. So I will speed it uh, up and see what will be the case. Uh, yeah, this is the case when we use CPU. You can see with your CPU, the system is slow. And, uh, and that's in our case, if the system uh, uh, categorized that the, the system can't um, uh, perform well, is supposed to redirect it, uh, that this traffic to another one, like as we say, to the GPU one. Uh, I will speed it up more, a little bit. Uh, so you can see here the delay is high, is over 100 milliseconds, like almost five times or six times more than the GPU uh, speed. And the throughput is not that much. Um, and also, it's really slow in detecting. So uh, for overall, uh, our uh, demo is about the EHIT use case. Uh, we wanted to uh, help the very uh, important uh, spectrum of patients who have no time, uh, patients who are in the ambulance and time really uh, very cr uh, critical to them. Uh, the main idea how to reserve the proper resources for these patients, how to guarantee the best performance for them. So we go through how to reserve that, how to monitor their system, and uh, how we run that uh, in our system.